Hello friends, this video on relations and functions part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part. One more example, a very simple example. Here also if you see, it is a relation defined in R as uh, A comma B where A is less than or equal to B is reflexive and transitive but not symmetric. So we'll try for reflexive. For reflexive, what I told, if a comma is member, it is reflexive. So if I say a comma is member, that means a is less than or equal to a. That is possible for any number. That is a is equal to a. So a is less than or equal to a. It is true for all numbers. So it is reflexive. Done. For transitive, what I told, for transitive, I told if a comma b is member, b comma c is member. This should imply that a comma c is also member. So now if a comma b is member, I am assuming that a is less than or equal to b. If b comma c is member, I am assuming that b is less than or equal to c. If a is less than or equal to b and b is less than or equal to c, this automatically implies a is less than or equal to c. If a is less than or equal to c, this implies that a comma c is the member of this relation. Correct? If a comma c is the member of this relation, that means transitive property holds. Next is symmetric. For symmetric to be true, if a comma b is true, that is a comma b is a member of this relation set, b comma a has to be true. So a comma b is true, that means a is less than or equal to b. But a is less than or equal to b does not imply b is less than or equal to a because let's suppose a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 2. This does not mean 2 is less than equal This is not true. So in that case, this is also not true. This is true. So B comma A is not member of this relation set. Since A comma B is a member of this relation set, but B comma A is not member of this relation set, that means I can say that this is not symmetric. This is not symmetric. This is reflexive and positive. We'll take one more example. We have to check whether relation R, you know, R defined by R A comma B, where the relation is a is less than or equal to b cube is reflexive, symmetric or different. We have to check this. Please note we have done similar question where we have a is less than b square. Here it is b cube and it is r all real numbers. Now, first thing, for it to be reflexive, a comma a should be member of the set. If a comma is member of the set, a should be less than or equal to a cube. But if you see, this is not true for all. If you take any value of a less than 1, for example, if you take 1 by 2, 1 by 2 less than or equal to 1 by 2 square, that is uh, 1 by 2 less than or equal to 1 by 4, this is not true. So, this is not reflexive. Since this is real number, this is not this. Had this been natural number, this was reflexive. Similar to this, uh, let's try to go for symmetric. For symmetric, also if you see, if a comma b is member of this, this should imply b comma a is also member of this. But this is not too logically also if you see right. If a is less than b cube, this does not imply b uh, b is less than equal to a cube. Both are two different statements. This need not be true. So this is not symmetric also. Similarly for transitive. For transitive we have to prove that if AB is the member, BC is the member of this relation. This should imply AC is the member of the set. Now we can take similar example as we have done. So if you take uh, let's suppose uh, A as uh, 6. Or let me take b as let's suppose 3. So 3 cube is 27, right? 3, 3 cube is 27. So we'll take a as one number less than uh, b that is 26. Why I took I just took b as 3, right? b as 3 as a random number. So 3 cube is 27. So I just took one number less to satisfy this condition. So I took a as 26. Since I took b as 3, I have to take b as 3 here also. 
here uh, one number where cube is greater than 3 I can take 1, I can't take 1 because 1 cube is 3 uh, 1 cube is 1, 1 is less than 3 1, I can take 2, 2 cube is 8, 8 is greater than 3 so I can take 2 so these are two valid scenarios now if I take 26 and 2 as a pair 26 and 2 as a pair then in that case 26 has to be greater than or equal to 2 cube which is incorrect since this is incorrect we can say that it is not even same question, I am just repeating it because this part you have to think a lot. I took b as 3, 27 I got because b cube is 27. Then I took one number less as 8 just to satisfy this condition. Correct? Even I taken 25 also. Same thing, you will get the same answer because 25 is also less than 2. Similarly, since b was 3, I took b3 here and I took c as 1 least possible number that satisfies this condition. 1 was not correct, so I took 2. And then I found that this transitive property is not holding true. This is a very simple question, very very simple question. We have this set given and we have relation also given. We have to prove it is symmetric but not reflexive and transitive. So for symmetric I told if A, B exist, B A also would exist. So here if you see 1, 2 exist and the, if you flip this, this becomes 2, 1, this also exists. So it is symmetric. For reflexive I told A, A should exist that is 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 should exist but if you see 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 is not there so it is not reflexive. Similarly for transitive I told if 1, 2, I mean that is A, uh, A, B and let's suppose B, C exist then A, C should also exist. So if you see here 1, 2 and 2, 1 exist, 1, 2 and 2, 1 exist, this implies that 1, 1 should also exist but 1, 1 is not there in this set. So it is not even very simple since the whole set is given it's very easy to find that. Let's take one more example. Uh, we have to show that the relation is the set A of all the books in the library of a college given by this relation x, y. x and y have same number of pages. It's an equivalence relation. So for relation to be equivalence it has to be reflexive, symmetric and transitive RST. It has to be reflexive, symmetric and transitive for it to be equivalent. Now the relation is x and y have same number of pages. You have some books in library, right? And from this you form a set of books such that they have same number of pages. Now for it to be reflexive first, x and x would exist. As a member, if an x and x is a member, that means x and x has same number of pages. That is correct also. If you take any book, if you compare with the same book, it will have same number of pages. So it is reflexive. Now the question done for symmetric. For symmetric, I told if an x y exists, that means that should imply y x also to be the member of relationship. In this, if you see x and y have same number of pages y and x also will have same number pages. It is same thing, same, just a different English. I am saying that if x, book x and book y has same number of pages or book y and book x has same number of pages, both the same thing. That means both are same. So it is symmetric also. Similarly for transitive, if I said that if x, y exist and y, z exist, that should imply that x, z should also exist. So when I say that x and y has same number of pages, right? x and y let's suppose has uh, 10 pages, also has 10 pages. And y and z also has 10 pages, 10 pages, 10 pages. So if you see that all x, y, z has same number of pages. So x and z also will have same number of pages. So that means if x, y and y, z are member of this set, then x, z is also member of this set. So it is transitive also. Very simple. Reflexive x is member of set. Symmetric xy implies yx. Transitive xy and yz implies x. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.